back again with the Tucson. Alright, so I installed a set of fog lights on my 2.5 Tucson and I realized that I didn't include anything for the hybrid or the PHEV models because I know a lot of you guys with the hybrids want fog lights too. So I just wanted to go through a couple different things you can do. Okay, so the hybrid. Obviously, you're not going to want to access the battery underneath your rear seat. But just in case you did, I'm going to go through the procedure. And uh, I don't recommend it. Don't do this. If you're qualified, go ahead. But here's the procedure. you got to shut off the high voltage by removing the service interlock connector. And... Just things to note that all the high voltage wires and connectors, they're all orange, with no exception. They're all orange, and every high voltage component, it's always marked with a caution label. So you got to wear a ton of PPE, including a hard hat and face shield, boots, gloves, etc. And you got to have insulated tools. You can't just put your components on the workbench, you gotta use a special mat and you gotta use a special sh insulated shield on top of the the mat and then you gotta disconnect the auxiliary battery positive disconnect the service interlock connector that's under the hood passenger side firewall area and you gotta check the voltage between the inverter terminals. Check it between the positive chassis ground and the negative chassis ground. Should be less than 30 volts. And then you still gotta get the rear seat removed. So you gotta remove the cushion assembly, remove the inlet duct or scuff trim fastener and then the upper frame then the last two steps are only required for the the other battery okay so I think you should just leave your back seat where it is and skip all that stuff I just mentioned and what you should do is you should just wire your fog lights right into your fuse box that's under the hood all right so i'm just going to draw on a couple beautiful yellow fog lights here and now we have our two fog lights mounted to the hybrid probably the easiest way to wire them in would be to get the two ground wires, join them together, and then ground those ones. So that's your ground taken care of. And then the two positive wires, you grab those, join them together, connect them to uh, a fuse tap, and then you run them up right into your fuse box put them with your headlight or marker lights or something then whenever your headlights come on the fog lights will come on very easy method so another easy way to do this is that you mount your fog lights and then you run the ground to a ground and you take the positive cables and instead of using a fuse tap now you can use a t-tap and you t-tap the positive fog light wires to your headlights or marker lights either one marker light or your headlight and then your fog lights will come on whenever your marker or headlights turn on. 
So, there's two very easy ways. You just gotta mount your lights, ground, and then run your power fuse tap into the fuse box. Or you install your lights, ground, and then your power goes to your headlights. So, if you are getting fog lights, I recommend that you don't get ones that are more than 60 watts for your hybrid. Especially if you're going to use a fuse tap or a T-tap, then go for something that's less than 60 watts. So, if you want a toggle switch for your fog lights, then you have to run a wire to your cabin and then back out to the engine bay again. And also have a place to mount your toggle switch. So that'll just make it more complicated, but I would highly recommend it. And if you're going to get a fog light, I think you should get one less than 60 watts. The one I have, I think, is 40 watts, and it requires 15 amps. So I don't think you should fuse tap anything more than 20 amps, especially on a hybrid. So, it's two ways to install your fog lights, and like I said, get something less than 20 amps, and you can throw a toggle switch in there too then, to shut your lights on and off. So, I'm working on a oil pressure gauge right now, and that could possibly be my next video. Hope you guys can like, subscribe, hit the bell, don't miss my oil pressure gauge video coming soon. Take care of your Tucson. See you then.